Doug McKnight here from Yell Dog, going to tie you guys a bonefish and permit fly called the crimp. It is uh, part crab, part shrimp, and uh, depending on how you trim it, either more crab or more shrimp. But it's a very good fly, um, particularly on Grand Bahama, um, amongst other places, and it's a great fly to have um, when you're fishing for bonefish and might have a shot of the permit swimming by. It's just crabby and sexy enough looking to where a permit might eat it a little bit better than, than maybe one of your standard bonefish flies. All right, so just to go over some of the materials, first of all, we're gonna use a, a size four hook on this. You can use any size you know, hook you want to for this fly, tie it big uh, and heavy for, for permit or, or deeper bonefish or all the way down to a size eight um, lightly weighted for, for tail and bonefish. Um, but we're going to use an SL113H Gamakatsu. It's a nice, strong, very sharp hook. Um, some sand craft for, um, some Zappa Gap for the cement, um, some root beer crystal flash. Um, it's a material called Spanflex. It's kind of a, a, a rubber leg material, and I've kind of hit it with a, sharp, a brown, brown and red Sharpie marker. Um, next, we'll be using some little shrimp eyes um, that we make out of a glass bead, some 30-minute epoxy, and some monofilament. And lastly, just some, some yarn of, of different colors. And this is a fly that you can do in, in kind of any color scheme you want to. We're going to be kind of tying a tan one. All right, so just gonna uh, give the, the, the shank a, a quick coat of thread here. And first step in tying the crimp is to put your eyes on. And I'm gonna use some, some lead dumbbells here. You can also use bead chain for a little lighter entry, uh, you know, bonefish fly that's maybe designed to fish a little bit shallower. Uh, but this fly has a, a fair amount of bulk to it and the lead eyes you know, you can definitely fish in, in shallower water without too, uh, too much of a splash. So just put a little bit of Zappa Gap on there and secure down those lead eyes. Next step, take a little bit of craft fur and we're going to tie in a, a, a pretty good tough, maybe about a shank length, maybe a little bit longer, and just give that a quick stack. And then start right behind those lead eyes and just wrap it forward right up to the barb. It's okay if that's a little bit longer, a little shorter. Doesn't doesn't really matter too much. Next, we're going to take uh, you know maybe four to six strands of, of crystal flash. This is root beer, and once again, you can use any color you want to, and just tie that in right there, and trim that right in line with the end of the craft fur. Next, I'm going to take those eyes that we made and tie those in kind of on the sides and maybe, uh, oh, about a quarter inch of length. And going to wrap those all the way down to the lead eyes, trim off any excess, do one on one side, one on the other. Another way to kind of change the look of this fly is by using different colored threads. Um, you know, you could use a, a bright shell pink or chartreuse like I'm using here, or yellow or hot orange. The choice is yours, and nothing wrong with having uh, variety in your box. Um, next, I'm going to take those legs that I hit with the Sharpie marker and just take two of them and tie them in like some antenna right on top of that craft fur. 
maybe have them stick out just past that graph for a little bit. Quickly tie those in. This is a great spot here to hit with some zappa gap and uh, just make make for a little bit more durable fly. And then from here, it's almost like tying a, a, a Del Brown permit crab. We're going to use little pieces of sparkle yarn, you know, maybe half inch long. And once again, here's a great spot where you can add some color variation. Um, you can use any color you want. I'm going to use like a, a light tan and kind of a cream color um, and just kind of alternate those like that Del Brown crab. So I'm going to tie two of them in, and then I'm going to grab my legs again, and this time I'm going to grab, well, maybe half a dozen of these legs, and tie those in. You know, maybe about three quarters of an inch long or so. And then go back to the yarn, tie in another alternating set of yarn and then another set of legs. One more set of legs here. And then lastly, I'm going to tie in a bright orange piece of yarn just as kind of a, you know, a little egg sack, little hot spot back there. Um, and you know, you could use pink, you could use yellow, um, you could keep it tan, the choice is yours. Now, to trim this, you know, Here's, here's where you kind of have maybe a little bit of a choice whether you want it to look more like a crab or more like a shrimp. Um, how I usually trim these guys is just kind of pull those legs back with my, my left hand and then just kind of fold those pieces of yarn together. And just using my thumb and forefinger as a guide, give that a trim. A nice way to get it even on both sides And this one's going to be more of a shrimp type shape, but if you wanted some fat ones, you know, just leave it a little bit, leave it a little bit more round. Okay. Next, I'm just going to take some more craft fur. Pretty healthy amount. Do the same thing. Pull the under fur out. Stack the tips, make yourself a nice little bunch. And tie that in just as the wing. And then maybe a couple more strands of flash right over the top. Nothing crazy, just a couple, you know four strands or so. And we're pretty much done. We could add a weed guard on there if need be, or just whip finish. Maybe trim that flash kind of even with the rest of it up front here. And we've got our, our finished crimp. Doug McKnight here again at Yellow Dog just finished up the crimp fly. Um, it's a great fly for, for bonefish a lot of places. It's also a great fly if there's that outside possibility that you're gonna have a permit shot while you're bone fishing. It's a great choice. Um, not too hard to tie, you know, give, uh, 
give this pattern a shot um, and have fun down there while you're while you're bone fishing. Thanks for watching.